back with another trading video, my guys. So today I want to talk about uh, trades I made over the weekends, buys and investments I made in the last couple of days, and also what the market, what I project the market to do over the next couple of days, right? So these are the plays I traded with. One second. Let's go to um, let's go to the game and show what I've what I've been trading with. So I bought an Odegaard for 95k ish. I bought a Lamptey for 80 on the 85k, flipped it for 92. I bought a KDB on the 60k. I bought a lot of my nuns. Uh, this was Friday, I think. Friday, I bought it for like 16k. He went to like 19k. I bought some Tonalis for like 50k, and he went to 62. So I made incredible coins on that. I'm just late. I'm just just camps are trading. I bought the Abi for it on the 20k, flipped it for 23. Uh, I bought a lot of Davies for like 20, what was it, like 24? And I flipped it for like 28. So we, we did great over there. And then I bought back into the market. So I bought a Rudiger for like 43k, 42-43. I bought Tio Hernandez for like 76, 76, 77k. Um, and I bought, what else did I bought? Tio Hernandez, Rudiger. I bought some, I bought some Alabas for like 9.5k. And that was about it. Uh, yeah, a couple of Diabis, nothing crazy, close to 20k. So my plan, this is what I'm this is what's gonna happen to the market over the next couple of days. My plan is to sell these either Tuesday or Wednesday. It depends on what's gonna get leaked. So let's go to let's close the PlayStation because it's making a lot of noise. One second, my boys. <laughs> Alright, boom, log out. No, 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 never mind. We, we will keep it on. We will keep it on. So let's go to paint. And let's see what this market is going to do. So right now we over here, right? I think this market is just going to rise. I don't think anything is stopping this market, especially on the gold market, because it's pretty low and it's kind of rebounding back up in price. So this is 6 p.m. content today, Monday. This is UK time, by the way. This is what EA drops content. I think we might see a little bit of a dip. And then the market is going to do this, right? This trend is going to continue. Till we're going to get Centurius leak. Centurius is normally an insane promo. So this is what's going to happen at the day it gets leaked. So the market is going to stagnate. It's going to go, it's going to do this, right? Till content. After content, normally this happens. 6 p.m. Whatever day this is, it could be tomorrow. It could be Wednesday. It could be Thursday. If nothing gets leaked, the market is just going to rise. But as soon as the big plays get leaked, like think about KDB, think about Neymar, think about Ibrahimovic. It's normally insane players. So till that day, the mar like till, till this point, the market is going to stagnate. Here is when, it, when things get leaked, right over here. And the market is going to stay still for like till 6 p.m. content. That particular day, and then the market is going to do, it's going to be a bloodbath, my boys. The market is going to do this. You might see a rebound lower and lower. Boom. Right to like, 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 like right of the low of like last week. And this is going to happen till Thursday. Rewards day. The market is going to stay low. No matter what day it gets leaked. And this only if it happens before Thursday, right? Till the morning of rewards. And then we're going to see a rebound going into Friday. Boom. Boom. You might have like 6 p.m. market matchup. Higher Friday. Boom. Friday. 6 p.m. That's normally how the market works in a panic market. Especially in a market like this. So, once again. Right now we're over here. The market is just going to rise. Till the day the leaks come out. Like the insane leaks. If, it's, if the leaks are disappointing, the market is going to continue to rise. But most likely, we're going to see insane leaks. That day is 6 p.m. It could be Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, Thursday. That day, the market is going to tank after 6 p.m. content. It's going to stay still for like a whole day and then drop as soon as the leaks, uh, leaks come and the leaks are demanded, right? And then people are going to panic sell. Till Thursday, rewards day. This is rewards, by the way rewards 
And then people people all of a sudden wake up, they think, oh shit, I still need to buy my team. Wait, I just gained coins from my, my, from my rewards. I still need to make my team for weekly league. Market is pretty cheap. I'm just going to decide to buy. That's normally how it goes. So after rewards, no matter what, the market is going to rebound. And this is only if the leaks are before Thursday. If it's after Thursday, let's say the leaks come after Thursday, right? Nothing is leaked of Centurius and the leaks come after Thursday. The market is going to rise till Thursday, 6 p.m. Then after market match, if the market is just going to, like, it's getting really low till the morning, Friday, like Friday morning, like kind of like this. Let's say the leaks are Thursday, right? The market is just going to rise till Thursday. You might see some panic with the initial rewards, maybe till Wednesday, and then like, I can see it rising till Thursday. And then after market matchup, you see a huge crash like this. And then a slow rebound going into Friday because people still need to... Like one thing about Friday, Thursday, people need to play weekly league. So that will always be a buyback. But I don't think things will get leaked on Thursday. I think the big leaks will be Wednesday, Tuesday. So I think this is going to happen. I don't think we have to worry about this. So let's get, let's get rid of it. I think this is how the market is going to play out. Rise short Wednesday, Tuesday. Till the day things get leaked, then things might become ropey. So once you see leaks coming, it might be time to start like start getting liquid and wait for this crash right over here. Normally after 6 p.m. As soon as you see Centurius leaks, it might be time to start selling everything. Sell your team, sell, sell the flips, sell your icon investments, sell your hero flips. Fodder might be on hold. Maybe you can hold fodder, but other than fodder. I would start selling everything. So, and that's that's how I think the market is going to play out. Basically like this. So, so what are some trades you guys can make over here? Market is pretty high already. So, if you guys want to go if, get involved in the market, I think these plays are going to rise throughout the week. So, if you uh, these are two plays I really like. Um Cuba as well. These are three plays I really like. Wap browse as well. So if you find any massive big undercuts on these players, right? Like let's say for example, a Robertson goes to like 195 in a particular low, like, like something like this. You see him from 195 at a certain point. I like this. I think this guy is going to rise in combination with Info Van Dijk. The Info Van Dijk gave this guy a lot of demand. So, and there's also a lack of left backs in the Premier League. So I really like this Robertson for a long-term play. I'm a big fan of Marquinhos and he's starting to trend as well he was 380 early today and he's already 410 and I think this guy is just gonna keep rising somebody like Kubo shows a lot of demand Premier League you can never go wrong with Premier League so somebody like Kubo I really like if you see an, an, a big undercut on him like let's say 35 36k in, in some kind of panic window and Ward Prowse big fan of James he had a solid rise today as well so if you see any significant undercut on these players, these are the four plays I like during the day. You might, it might be before 6 p.m. that you see a panic wind on them. I don't think anything crazy is going to come. Even if EA drops some big packs, I just think the market is going to rise. So no matter what, I think we're going to see a solid market rise today. And people just buying back the team. So no matter what, I think we, 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 we in the greens, as you guys can see. So anything you buy, technically you should make coins on. So those are the other plays I still like to make. When it comes to golds, I think the market is just too inflated. When it comes to golds, like it's too much up. Like we can have a look, one second. Yeah, golds are just too inflated. Like Sun is 98, Rudiger is 49 almost, 48. Uh, Walker is 120. Yeah, I think the gold, the, the boat and the gold is just, it just, it just went, went, basically. Maybe somebody like Musiala, like if he goes back to 15k, that could be a play. Maybe Saliba on the 30. Um, Alaba I like if he drops a little bit but yeah most likely the goals are too high so for now I would stick with the trailblazers and I'll keep an eye on them that was it for today I'm out peace